Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, guys, to the broadcast. For those who are coming through for the first time, you are more than welcome. And those who've been coming through, keep doing what you're doing. I love it. Guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my content and you can put on the notification bell so that every time I post a video, you can be notified. Today, we're going to talk about a week from hell, right? So many things have been exposed this week. So many celebrities have been exposed this week. We are talking about Casper Nyovest and Amanda Dupont, Mini Jamini, ex-husband Quentin Jones, Michalin Damase, and Leroy Dambe. Guys, we're living in a culture, and all of this, I'm going to talk about it. All of this, I'm going to mention in this video. So stay tuned. We're living in a culture where people are looking for love, power, and respect, whatever you call it, sex, love, and drugs, however you look at it, money. This culture, when people acquire money, we have this perception that we're going to acquire happiness. And there's this tendency with celebrities that nothing is ever enough. We have seen the millionaires, we've seen the billionaires. You don't hear many scandals when it comes to those guys. But the, our celebrities, which are people who are not really rich, but they're the ones who portray this life of being wealthy uh, as hell. But at the end of the day, they're just rich. And there are many rich people who don't floss. But those who are celebrities, I suppose it's how they acquire their riches. It's how they acquire their wealth. And we don't know what they do behind the scenes to get their money. And these people are marketed. I've been saying this on my videos. And you'll see, if you watch my videos, this is a consistent theme, guys, that the celebrities are not just there by chance. They have been handpicked by powerful people who own powerful media industries and they choose them for a reason. They endorse them because they suit the narrative. They suit what they want. They don't just pick anybody. They pick specific people for a specific reason. It's because these celebrities are suitable for whatever agenda they're pushing. Remember, Mithali, Mini, Casper, they make money, aka, they make money off of these big companies, these media companies, and big brands. These big brands have identified this is a person we can use. Yes, I use that word, use. Because this person won't give us any problems. He won't come with Bob Marley's mentality of say, emancipate our people. They're not going to preach that. They're not going to come with the message of Nelson Mandela and say, freedom, free the black people. They're not going to come with message of Malcolm X. They're not going to come and talk about the history of the oppressed people, the poor people, liberate my people. They're not going to spread that message. What they're going to do is they're going to take money and say, what do you want me to do? Or they're already pushing that narrative and they get identified because of the reasons. And then these companies use their power and influence. They use radio. They use marketing they use television and they promote their brands through these faces because these are reliable faces when it comes to the agenda they're trying to push they are trying to make money quickly as quickly as possible and they want willing parties and willing parties are usually those we see on tv your bonangs your mini laminis your caspers and so forth and so forth and so forth why am I mentioning this? Because we need to understand who are we following. We're going to keep preaching this message. We're going to preach this message. We're going to preach this message. We're going to get two views. We're going to get three views. But we're going to push, preach this message. That be careful. Be careful of the people that you follow. Be careful of your leaders that you choose. Be careful of the examples that you follow be careful who you want to be like because they may seem like they've got it all together and then you will learn that they don't this has been the week of hell the week from hell because we are finding out so many things number one casper your vest is seen with amanda dupont remember amanda dupont is married to a white man and i've also mentioned this in the past in one of my videos that they, these ladies, these slay queens, 
you know, there's public figures that we see on TV. The one thing they have in common, they love marrying white men because the white man is epitome of what they want to aspire. They want to, they want to, they aspire to something, something that looks like white. Because that's something that looks like white usually represent security, wealth, and money, and all those things. But they marry to those white people, but it never really works out. Because the melanin is so strong. They fight it, they bleach, they do all sorts of things. But the melanin is so strong. It's not only in your skin, it's deep in your soul. And there are things that just don't satisfy you when you cross over. If your agenda is not pure, am I against um these marriages no i'm not against wearing the person of another race but don't marry them because you're trying to be something that you're not don't try to be white it's not marriage is not a place to prove how white you can be what am i saying casper is seen with amanda dupont who's were married to a white person they're having a, a good time you may say is there anything wrong with that What's wrong with that? They, they've dated before. They can be friends. Of course, they can be friends. But tell me which man, which husband is comfortable with his wife going back to their ex and having fun without him being around. Out of all the friends, out of all the friends you want to hang around with, out of all the friends you want to part with, you choose your ex? Come on. Something is fishy there. Something, I smell a rat. By the way, Kespa is the one who's also having problems with the baby mama who's seen with Andy Lembisane. So you tell me, you tell me. And then we move on. Mini Lamini and Quentin Jones. Mini Lamini, there's a statement that has come out. There's this guy who's been dropping gems, gossip gems. I mean, he's been on a winning streak, this guy, Musa Kaula. He's been revealing all the secrets. And we need to talk about this, Musaka. Who is he? Why does he know so much about celebrities? Are these celebrities betraying each other? Who's, who's giving him so much info? So this guy, Musaka Ula, has posted something that Quentin actually divorced Minit Lamini because Minit Lamini cheated at a time where she had just lost her brother. She started being distant and then he found out that she was cheating. So the guy is divorcing me. Michelle Indamase. Last week she was trending for being with a, a married man, Leroy Sitambe. That was trending last week. And this week we find out the guy, Mother's Day, posts flowers to the mother of, of, of his children and you know praising her as a, as a woman you know and that is also quite interesting and there's this picture that is circulating where michelle indamase is seen almost like kissing a guy but you can never tell eh? that could have been a hug she, the guy could have been whispering something into his ear so we can never know we cannot really confirm that that's what's happening but something is dodgy there i mean jub jub also comes out he talks about so well we're about Kelly Kumalo and so forth. This, this guys, this has been a week from hell. A week from hell because it has exposed so much of the celebrities that we hold so highly. You know, we, we worship them. We, we think they're great people. We aspire to be like them. But guys, clearly these people, these lives are cares. These the people's lives are not as good as we want. And I'll tell you the reason. The reason is love, power, and money. And sex and often drugs all of these things intertwined because we have this idea that if i can get enough money i will end up dating so and so who has such a such a status i can have people worship me look up to me i can look good i can wear the best clothes all of that translates to power and influence but most of that you don't get enough of it what what is it that we're starving for that we want to use money to replace there's something in someone's soul there's some something in someone's spirit that is missing that we're trying to fill and money can fill it temporarily clearly and then sex can fill it temporarily clearly drugs can fill it temporarily clearly but whatever high you're going to look for on the outside it does not last you go into a marriage you think you're going to be happy you wear the best clothes you think you're going to be happy you get the best job you get the best car you get the best everything 
these people have got the best everything. But do they stay? Can they maintain these things? That is the reason why we have gossip. This is the reason why I'm sitting here talking about these people. Because they keep giving us juice. They keep shocking us. Because why are we shocked? Because we thought they are happy. Why are these things happening to celebrities? And guys, you got to be careful. We need to go to a place where we look at the inside, at the soul. And this is why I mentioned this when I started this topic that, guys, be careful who you look up to. Because these people are people who may be looking to fill their voids. And the way they go about it, we don't know. We don't know what they've done. We don't know how they how they got to the places that they got to. And for as long as we look up to those people, we're going to be lost. There are many people who are probably going to comment on this video and tell me where to get off. Because these are their role models. And I understand that. I get it. This is why I'm on this video. But I'm talking to those who really want something sustainable. There's something to think about about the culture about the influence that these big companies have on us. These big companies that came to Africa, they found people eating samp, they packaged it and they sold it back to us. Who are these people? We all know who took out this country. And I apologize if I'm coming across like today, I'm a politician, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a revolutionist. This is who's been running our country. These people that came, took what we were eating, they packaged it and put it at the supermarket for us to buy something that we were doing on our own. And they keep doing that through all different forms. They are selling us things through these people that are willing to, to be used to sell these things to us, therefore keeping us in bondage. I'm out. Please don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you for watching.